Russ Matthews with The Watch List and Real Dialogue, where film and faith come together. Today we have the honor of talking with writer, producer, and director John Irwin. You may know him from films like Woodlawn, The American Underdog, and also I Can Only Imagine. We're thrilled today to be able to talk with him as the Australian release of Jesus Revolution comes out today. So join me as we talk with John Irwin about the film and his career. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, John? Great to meet you. I'm about I'm to geek doing... out. This is so exciting. That's how are hysterical. You? Oh man, that's hysterical. Well, uh, like... I'm doing great, and that's funny that anyone would say that. But I'm I'm geeking out that that people watch the movies. You know, it's amazing that, that and and that, that that this movie is that you know, releasing around the world is incredible. So, uh, oh, man. Hey, welcome to the watch list and real dialogue. We are so thrilled to have John Irwin here today. I'm so excited to be able to talk with him. Um, we'll talk more about his career here in a minute, but we have Jesus revolution hits the shores of Australia this weekend. We're so excited about the long weekend and hopefully be able to get out to see it. John, you've been living with this film for like five, six years. Um, then on yeah. top of it, it's been released in America, had all these great accolades and really great response to it. Are you still as excited today about it hitting the shores of other countries? Well, yeah. What's amazing is uh, that entertainment is America's second largest export behind agriculture. And and uh, when something does well in America, it, it triggers um, sort of a global release. And so the fact that the movie is now being played all over the world is mind blowing to me. And I'm so grateful. I mean, I, I'm still blown, blown away that people buy tickets to, you know, to, <laughs> to, 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 to something I made as opposed to avatar, or, you know, it's, it's really is incredible. And, you know, I, I love entertaining an audience and our, our main job and goal and occupation is to, is to entertain uh, and to, and to make you hopefully laugh and cry and have a great night at the theater. But then I really believe that, if you can work on a story that matters, you know, that, that it, the right story has the power to change your life. And that's why we love true stories, you know? And, yeah. uh, and so I'm, I'm blown away by, I love this movie. This is the longest I've ever worked on a movie. And uh, I bought the time magazine cover uh, on eBay uh, while I was researching <laughs> cool. another film way back in 2015, I think it was. Sure. And, uh, and I've wanted to make this into a movie ever since. And, and so in between all the other films that we've made, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been trying to get this film made. And so the fact that it, you know, my takeaway is that God's timing really is perfect and, and, uh, and it, and it's way better than the plans that you have. And so, um, it, it's so cool to see this movie get made. I, I love the movie. I love the team I got to work with and we had so much fun, man. We, we had more fun making this than I, than I have in many years. And, and uh, wow. And, I, and I'm, and I'm glad for the world to now see it. Yeah, man. Oh, we're, we're, we are so excited. We love the film. We got to pre-screen it. So we're so grateful. We really enjoyed it. And we look forward to um, our audiences here across Australia to really get to experience it. Now, that's one of the things you, you kind of brought up the whole true story element. If you really look back through your filmography, I'm from Woodlawn, you know, the American underdog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's also, right. uh, I can only imagine these are true stories that occurred. And, um, and so you really seem to have tapped into something that's really special for people. But what is it about Greg Laurie's story that really grabbed your attention and made you want to spend so much time on it outside of the COVID impact? But what oh, yeah. took so long that you'd be willing to stick with it? And what really grabbed you about sharing this story with the world? Well, I think the right story is worth whatever amount of time it takes <laughs> sure. to tell it. Um, you know, and you're right. True stories for us. What do they say? A filmmaker finds their story and tells it over and over again we found on the film Woodlawn that uh, inspirational true stories are just um, the, the thing that, that, that we love doing. And um, I think that there's an extra power to true stories because when you watch something that's true, you're like, you know, if it happened to them, maybe it can happen to me. And if it happened then, maybe it can happen now. And so, you know, we've done se several of them. I can only imagine, I still believe American underdog and, uh, with this movie, you know, this started with this Time Magazine cover. And, um, you know, the, the more I studied it, the Jesus movement in general, the more I studied it back to its origin in Southern California. And that led to a relationship with Greg and Kathy Laurie. And I love them. I, I just think uh, they're the real deal and wonderful people and wonderful friends. And uh, it began a multi-year relationship, but it started with the Jesus revolution. And, um, 
and you know they were teenagers in this movement and i really wanted to tell the story from the perspective of 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 a young person entering entering the movement entering the story and i remember when i'd gotten to know greg and kathy um i asked greg about it and he just said you know the moment that chuck smith met lonnie frisbee and this square pastor opened the door to this hippie preacher was like nitro meeting glycerin. And so <laughs> that's when I conceived of like this idea that it really is about these people converging in a moment in time and and uh, and God using ordinary people d- to do something extraordinary together right. in this moment in time. And, uh, and that became the story that I wanted to tell. And what I love about it is we really try to make films multi-generational. It's very rare that you can sit down and watch something with with your parents and your kids and everyone's sort of lo- loving the story for different reasons. And so this really is one of those stories where if you take teenagers to it, they're going to really love the love story. Uh, but I love Kelsey Grammer and Jonathan. And, and so right. it really is something for everybody. And, and the hope is that it creates a conversation and, and, uh, and, that, and that people love the movie. But I really... I, I'll tell you this, Greg and Kathy are celebrating 50 years married uh, the year that this film is coming out. And uh, so cool. he has served God faithfully as a pastor for 40 of those years and, and uh, over. And so I'm just, uh, you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful um, to, to be able to tell, uh, to, to tell their story and to tell it as, as well as we can. And, and uh, I'm grateful to see what God's doing with the film. Yeah, so we, I think they definitely be able to nail it. And I think it really introduces the world to Greg and Kathy, um, if they haven't already been in so many ways. And I think it's a, a great way to be able to do that. That's one, but you did touch on something that it, it really kind of meets at the heart of the, the real dialogue audience, because we always are talking to people about how you can find the message of God in film. And yeah. I'm curious real quick, you know, as a filmmaker, why did you choose a film as a means of kind of sharing the message of the Bible? You know, I love this verse. It's a great look. First of all, first of all, I love the name real dialogue. That's really cool. And uh, and I love this this verse in Acts where where Paul says of David that he served the purposes of God in generation. And that's a cool concept to think about the purposes of God, the truth, God's truth, God's story, the gospel is unchanging and needed. Uh, and Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But then you're talking about your generation, which is something that's constantly changing. Right. So to find ways to sit at the intersection of those two, like the eternal and the constantly changing is a fascinating thing. And I think sometimes it's all about what what new methods are there for getting God's truth to the world. And I think, you know, mass entertainment is the is the is sort of the it's a symphony of art. It's, I think, the most powerful way to tell a story ever invented. And so it's just something that we should harness and use, you know. And uh, and, I, and also, I'm just, a, I love movies. I love television. Uh, you know, I, I uh, you know, I love what I get to do. And, um, and, and I want to do it to the best of my ability. But, you know, a film is too hard to not matter. And so to be able to do something truly meaningful to people, uh, with a great team of people, there's nothing better. And, and, uh, we just felt like God was calling us. I I was a, for many years, a music video director. Yeah. And then worked for ESPN before that. And I I worked on a Christian film, uh, called courageous. And, uh, that's where I met my producing partner, Kevin Downs. And, and I directed all the action sequences and stunt work for that movie because the church was making it. I know. And it was very important that I did that. So someone didn't get run over and die, you know? And so, and so, but the director of that film, uh, Alex asked me a very powerful question. He says, what's your purpose and the purpose of your work? And um, not only could I not answer the question, I couldn't stop thinking about the question. And sure. that led to a moment where sort of a career became a calling. And uh, and there's nothing better when you when you really try to get good at something and then you do it for for a reason beyond yourself and uh and for for something that you really feel is important and for you know in this case god's glory instead of your own and uh that's a very satisfying thing so i just think it's it's something that we should wrestle to the ground and use you know it really is yeah. uniquely useful to communicating uh truth to people and giving them what we hope to give them is a rush of hope yeah great thanks well we're coming close to the end of our time i probably would want to make sure you get an opportunity to kind of finish with uh kind of 
what is it that you would want the Australian audience to really take away from, or why should they even go see it? I mean, it's a very American story, California story, Pirates Cove yeah. and all that. But yet, what is it that kind of transcends culture that would make an Australian audience, be it Christian or not, um, to come along and see Jesus' revolution? I think um, my hope, first of all, is that you enjoy the film. I mean, I make films. I, I go to the movies to be entertained and to have an emotional experience. And and my hope is that first and foremost, uh, you have a you have a, a an entertaining night at the theaters that uplifts and inspires you and your family. Um, but beyond that, you know, we we made a movie. Certainly, it was in an American context. But the need for spiritual awakening is a global need, and the need yeah. for a renewed conversation. Um, and 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 hopefully a, a heart's cry and prayer for God to sweep the world with with hope again is beyond an American story. And what I love with this movie is that you're sort of joining your voice to that effort, you know. And and uh, the conversations that start, the baptisms that have happened, you know, after the right. movie, far in exce excess of anything that we've ever done. So I really do think, you know, it, it's a natural, you know its themes are just very relatable to the times in which we live. And, uh, and its themes are, are, I hope, you know, bigger than, uh, than America. We're just in a moment now, what do they say when your pain outweighs your fear change can begin, you know, it's like, at least in America, I've not experienced a moment that's been more divisive mm. and um, fragile and unsafe and where so many questions or you know the word desperate came up a lot in the research when we researched the movie and the time and the word desperate's coming up a lot now like we're just sure. desperate for answers desperate for hope and uh and i think this this story is a very real and very true story of where the all those things were found at a very similar time and i know i need it in my own life and um and and, and i think that that's a universal need you know and so my hope is people will love the movie and it's also great you know, it's it's ending its theatrical run in America, and uh, and I've seen it on a small screen. I've seen it on a big screen with people, and it's it's a different movie. It's amazing to watch yeah. it with people that you love uh, on a big screen. So I'm I'm blown away that it's playing, uh, um, uh, you know, all over the world in Australia, New Zealand, and so many other places. And and I'm 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 hoping that people love it. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and uh, and and uh, and I can't wait for people to see it. Hey. Well, thanks so much, John. I really appreciate your time and our the team here, uh, the watch list, and also Real Die. Really look forward to the film, and we're really grateful for your work. And we can hope you continue on with more and more films in the in the future. Well, thank you. Great, great to meet you. Uh, here's to a longer conversation later in person. But I look forward uh, to it. But thanks a bunch, and great to meet you. Well, thanks so much to John and also to Crossroads for the opportunity to talk about Jesus Revolution. Make sure you get out this weekend and, and check out Jesus Revolution in cinemas. And you'll be able to see that they're in cinemas at Event Cinema, Hoyts, and also Village um, Cinemas. But then also make sure you take time to read the reviews at Real Dialogue and check out our podcast at The Watch List. And that would be at Hope 103.2 and Real Dialogue would be at realdialogue.com. Thanks again. This is Russ Matthews. See you at the movies.